welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking about four things that I did not expect in my marriage. So let's get right into it. Disclaimer, we only been married for seven months. So this should be interesting. So the first thing is how easy it was. So I didn't expect it, but I did expect it, but I didn't want to like expect it, you know, kind of thing. And it was so easy for us because we were already married before we got married. So because of that, felt like that is because we were dating for three and a half years before we got married. And we did this semi long distance, but it was like city to city, well, only like an hour-ish away. And we did the drive back and forth, both of us. Every weekend, every four day, every three day, you name it. And we spent our time together on the weekends. And during the week, we couldn't see each other because he worked and then I worked and I had school and I was in college and all that kind of stuff. And then I moved down where he was in Colorado Springs, um, October last year till two months ago because he moved again. And... We, when I moved down there, I had my own place, but he stayed with me most of the days, but he was in, in the barracks, which is he's in the army, so he can't really, like, move out unless you're married, so that's the, the downside of it. But we were, like, living together, basically, and it wasn't that much different either, because we knew how we are. We got to know each other pretty well over the three years of driving back and forth, and... It was very, it was actually a very good experience, and we didn't, like, butt heads, we didn't clash. I mean, we had little arguments, but it only lasts, like, an hour, so it's not, like, like, for a whole entire day or anything. We, we don't really argue. We argue about over the stupidest things, so that's about it. And another thing that I didn't expect is I'm always taking care of him and then take care of myself. Cause I want to make sure he's good. Like, you good? I'm good? You good? Making sure, like, he has everything he needs and all that stuff. It's because I like giving gifts to him. I like giving him things because I thought of him. Like, for example, so I would shop for his, for him for clothes-wise. Because you know how guys are. Wearing four shirts all the time and, like, same pants every day. And I'm like, dude, gotta, like, switch it up a little bit. So that's me, that's why I come in. That's why I didn't really, I knew I was gonna be like that, but I wasn't like gonna get more into it after I got married, if that makes sense. And another thing is, I didn't realize how much I loved waking up and going to bed next to him. Because it's the best thing ever, and I have never thought it was like the best thing ever but it is the best thing ever and it's hard for me to go to sleep or wake up because he's not here or like whenever he's not here it always away from training and all that stuff so it's like a routine for both of us and like, like we've been busy all day long and then it'd be like hey we like hang out and watch a movie and then all that stuff and then wake up the next morning and do all over again and another thing i haven't really got it yet but i have seen it is how people are judgmental like when i say hey i got married at 22 they're like whoa why and then like i'm like because i know he's the one and he's the one for me, I'm the one for him. So we decided to get married. It just does not matter. I mean, like, your generation has been, like, 18 now. And, I mean, back in the day, everybody got married, like, at 16. So no one back in the eye. But now, here, it's like, now, in this generation, we're like, oh, wow, why are you getting so married so fast? We're so young. And I'm like, who cares? Not your business. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment below for the next video, suggestions. See you next time. Bye.